Our Dr. Abi, executive producer of World Liberty TV boxing channel. We are here with former two-time uh, uh, world middleweight boxing contender Mustafa Hamshow. Tell us um, how you got involved in boxing, uh, Mr. Hamshow. Uh, I was I was in Syria. Like I started in Syria, I was a Syrian champion. You know, I started when uh, an age 13. You know, uh, I started. I was a Syrian champion when I come to this country. Okay, so did you uh, fight amateur here in uh, the U.S. or you became professional? Or, uh? I did one one amateur fight downtown uh, in uh, downtown Manhattan. Was a I did one amateur fight, you know. Right. Now uh, you uh, fought great uh, champions like Bobby Chase, B Wilfredo Benitez, Donnie Lalonde. Uh, which one was one of the hardest fight with these champions? Yeah, every fight is tough. Nothing uh, f for me. Nothing. Never. I got an easy fight. You know. Every fight was a tough, you know, no, no, nothing easy. I never get st like a break like the rest of the fighter because I come from different world, you know, and uh, I have to pay for it. Right. Now, your two fights with the uh, marvelous Marvin Hagler. The first one, I think you fought in uh, Chicago. Uh, you lost on a close decision there. And then, of course, the second one at Madison Square Garden. Tell us about them two fights. It was uh, very tough, hard fights. Yeah, Marvin Hagler is a great champion. You can't take nothing out of him. And I... Uh, I saw the fight when he fought Vido Antefermo. I figured out, uh, you know, I'm more powerful from Vido and stronger. I figured I'd chase him out of the ring, but the guy, he, he was smart, he kept me, and uh, he did what he had to do, you know. We came out of it, thank God, everything worked out. No, I, I don't know, everybody will say it was a great fight, you know. Yeah, it was a great fight. I saw both of your fights. I thought it was a wonderful fight. Now, um, what are you presently doing, uh, Mr. Hampshire? Are you still in the fight game or uh, are you doing business? Or Can you share that with us? No, no. I, I do. I have a couple of restaurants. Was, uh, I have a restaurant in the city now. I have a problem with it, so well, I'm working on it, you know. Okay, so you're in the restaurant business now. Now you you are you are um, inducted in the New York State Hall of Fame. That is a very huge honor for somebody who's been at the very highest pinnacle of boxing. So we want to congratulate you for that, sir. As a fellow Muslim uh, from uh, uh, India, I really want to congratulate you because uh, actually we really looked up to you. I was a former boxing champion myself, Prince Nasim Hamid, Amir Khan. So really, you was the true pioneer champion when it came to the Muslim community of escalating boxing to the very highest pinnacle so we actually stand on your shoulders so you opened up a lot of doors for us there uh, yeah, it was good I don't know the, the, we're talking about the, we don't want to get involved the religion but uh, you know people here no we're not going to be we're saying as Muslim fighters not a, not a religious statement yeah. but just Muslim fighters uh, people here just know like uh, I've been here for four years when people know the name just the name you know of the police stop you just see the name Mustafa or oh, something this guy is dangerous. Before you know who you are, after he meet, he come and he talk to you, he figure who you are, he, he flip uh, 45 degrees, you know. Yes, yes, yes. So, right. but uh, thank God everything will work out. We live in this country. For four years, I have uh, seven children over here, you know. Seven so, children, yeah. wow, congratulations. This is a group, it's my, my, my uh, wife son. and children and family yeah, yeah, and God bless thank America. Thank God everything, God yeah. bless America. Yeah. God bless America, see I got the tie on also. Hello, Liberty TV. Well, uh, Boxing channel. Boxing channel, yeah.